like in a ton of pure songs that have the most bounce you just have one like main melody that's just playing over and over again it's just so repetitive and it's so simple what is up boys and girls hope that everybody's having a great day today one of the things that pierre born is most known for are his bouncy beats and his bouncy songs so in this tutorial i'm going to be going over the process so that you can make your own bouncy beats and melody similar to what he makes these are definitely some of my favorite beats to make so without further ado let's get into it i have my tempo set on 161 bpm and in our channel rack here we have this plugin called pandora open if you've been watching my channel for a while you might have seen me use this plugin before or you would have just assumed that i would open up electra x and start making melodies wrong so i think that one thing that's really common amongst all producers is that we can get sick of using the same plugin over and over again especially for me like i can't use the same plugin for more than 10 beats in a row like i either need to change up the plugin or the genre of the beat or something but this plugin pandora here is one of the best underground plugins that i've ever come across i say this just because of how versatile it is and how good the sounds in here are this is a mostly synth plugin but you also have like some real instruments like trumpets and flutes and orchestra and all that kind of stuff we have basses we have bells we have bell pads, we have voices, Keys. flutes, synths. I'll be using this plugin in this beat so you guys can kind of get like a gist of what it is. But every time I feel like I need something new or like something to refresh my mind, like these are one of these plugins where you can just go through every single sound and you can like create your own beat with just one of those sounds in there. So I'm going to be putting a link in the description to this plugin. But wait! If you use the code LUC20 before you buy this plugin, then you'll get over $20 off. So this is just overall a deal that I wouldn't miss out on if I were you guys. And this plugin is a definite recommendation for me. So again, link in the description if you guys want to go check it out. All right, so we have this sound right here. And what I want to do is I want to get chords down first. And I want to get them in kind of like a, rhythm in a rhythmic pattern. Boom, those are our root notes right there. So now what we want to do is we want to expand this by adding chords to these root notes. That's nice. So that's a perfect main melody right there. So now what we're gonna do, if we have our melody here, we're gonna stack the layers, right? I'm sure you guys have heard that a trillion times in other tutorials. We're just gonna go to a different sound here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add some reverb to both of these. So I'm gonna brought both of those to channel one. Um, let's go to Valhalla reverb. Oh, that's smooth right there. So we're gonna clone Pandora again. And so since we have our like ambient melodies down, now we're gonna start to move on to like more of our punchy melodies. Uh, let's go to some plucks. There's one thing that I've learned with making bouncy beats and bouncy abilities is you want to have repetition and you want to have simplicity. Like in a ton of Pierre songs that have the most bounce, you just have one like main melody that's just playing over and over again. It's just so repetitive and it's so simple. But the thing with Pierre is he uses those elements of simplicity and repetitiveness, if that's a word, he uses that correctly in a way that's just, just perfect. Repetition, simplicity. Keep those in mind when you're making these. I'm gonna try one thing here. I, I just, I wanna experiment kind of, and I, I wanna do this so I don't forget about it, but we're gonna go to some fruity chorus. We're just gonna add like a couple more things, if not like maybe just like one more thing. Raw. We're keeping it simple here. We're just having this flute sound right here.
We're going to go to one of the synths here. So we have all of our melodies down, and now we're just going to start to move on to the drums. The drums are literally the easiest part. You guys won't struggle with these at all. Just make sure that you have a good Pierre kit. I would get one off of Reddit or YouTube. Alright y'all, that is going to wrap it up for this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one and hope that you guys learned something as well. Um, make sure to go check out Pandora if you guys want to go check that out. Again, I definitely recommend copying that plugin if you guys don't have it already. But anyways, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me. Y'all can listen to the full beat right now. I'll catch y'all in the next video coming very soon. But until then, I'm out.